2023 is almost certain to go down as the hottest year on record. But science allows us to look even further back in history, gathering data from thousands of years ago. It's thanks to what's known as ice core dating. And Sky News meteorologist Bradlin Oaks has the details from Hobart here. 2023 is likely to be the hottest year on record. This comes after a June, July and August that were the hottest in the observational record and likely the hottest in 100,000 years since our last interglacial period. There's some complex science behind this, but it all starts about 2,500 kilometers behind me, deep in the ice. There's two different kinds of ice cores. We get the coastal ones around Antarctica and around the coastline of Greenland that are what we call high resolution ice cores and they can give you detail right down to the seasonal or even the monthly scale. What happens is when you drill through an ice sheet to gather an ice core, you go back in time. And going back in time allows you to reconstruct the climate of the past. We can measure the carbon dioxide in ice cores and we also have proxy measurements for temperature and they come from the water itself. So the different isotopes in the water will preserve a measure of regional or global temperature depending on where they're from. It's not easy but it's straightforward to be able to look back in time and say we're about at the hottest point since, since the last interglacial. We can compare ice core indicators to other markers around the world meaning that the ice keeps a detailed record. As the snow compresses into ice, it traps little bubbles in the ice, and they're like little bottles that have been put away in time. The last interglacial was a period of the Earth's geological history around 115,000 years ago, when the climate was warmer than today with a higher global sea level and smaller ice sheets. It is an important benchmark for measuring climate change and ice core sensitivity. Looking back through the longer time periods, you can see how that CO2 and temperature changes um, with the glacial and interglacials, but it's in a nice boundary from about 180 to 280 parts per million until we get to the modern era where it just increases sharply. So it's probably the clearest piece of evidence of climate change through CO2 increase. And there are many other things you can measure in an ice core. And we've kind of got to the point where uh, most of the periodic table can be measured and that's, those are indicators of all sorts of different things in the environment from biomass burning and wildfires to ocean circulation or um, phytoplankton in the ocean. Paleoclimatology requires complex analysis, but it's how we can put together all our climate data prior to observational or human data. It's how we can say a temperature was the hottest on record or the hottest in over 100,000 years. Bradlin Oaks, Sky News Weather.